Well, basically what we're designing here is the deck for our robot, which is supposed to hold two robots at least 12 inches off the ground. So all we did was we took it over to our break next door. We took some 30,000 sheet metal and bent it over on the ends. And we added these cross braces in here. And they slide in like this and that we riveted them in. So that you get this. And then the way that this is supported, even though it's only sheet metal, it will support a whole lot more than it would if it was just flat. And we put three of these together, just like this. We put a 25 pound steel plate on top of it, and we had Chad over there and another teacher stand on top of this, and it didn't even bow. So uh, we're pretty happy with that. But one of our problems right now is that we have to have a ramp come out so that the robots can drive on top of us. So our problem now is we run into, we have to stay inside of the dimensions of the robot. But when it folds out, as you can see, it's kind of hard to hinge something like this. So we're thinking we might have to use something like a car door hinge where it's rounded so that it can swing out this way. But uh, we're not really sure about that part yet. We still got to work a little bit on that to get the final. So the status right now is we've got a concept, but we still got to figure out all the details. They call me the president. Um, it's basically what I am. I'm with the help of the mentors, the teachers. Basically, I kind of relay everything. I'm in charge of everything. So when people get upset, they come yell at me. So um, we keep a schedule, and that's basically my job to make sure that everything goes how it's supposed to. But I'm um, at the beginning of the year. We get everybody together, and we're like, okay, we know we have six weeks. So what do we need to do today and what we need to do next week, next month? We call ourselves a student-run organization, and basically that's, that's me. And with the help of the mentors, which they do give us insight, but they try to stay out of it. Um, if they know we're heading down the road of destruction, then they'll kind of step in and say, you know, I think that you guys should look at it this way, or you guys should, should try this instead, you know, just handle, you know, handle things like you're supposed to, so. We're center punching it for, uh, for a drill. We got to drill holes in it later so that we can take it to one of the teacher's father's in father-in-law's house and uh, punch out some bigger holes so we can lighten these up and save about two and a half pounds so that we can make our uh, make weight for our arm to go in. and have the two work together. The teams that tend to do well have a driver and they've been practicing driving that robot. They know how it's going to perform. Then you can, you can look at the bot and you say, I have to go 15 feet. You, in your mind, you can calculate how long it's going to take and you know how it's going to perform when you're, when you're operating the joystick. It, the more practice our drivers have with the joystick, the more accurate they're going to put it in position and not have an issue. For, and I'll use Travis as an example. If he had a lot of practice going down that ramp, he, he would know going down that ramp full throttle is a bad juju. We all know that now. But NASCAR takes practice. I mean, they've been driving for, you know, some of them have been Mark Martin, you know, 20 years. They still go do practice laps. They try to get the feel of the track, get the feel of the car. I wouldn't sit there and say, keep rotating drivers every match. You want your driver to have some practice. If we get three or four rounds, that's it. We got three people that you selected to be the operator of the robot, the driver of the robot. You need a coach, you need a human player, right? Yeah. Do, those, do any of those three fit that bill? You got one person driving. Can Travis and Chad be the human player 
and or the coach, and does that make sense? Well, I think Brady should probably be the coach. Okay. I like the fact that Brian's up there. He is the mechanical person who's been in charge of help putting it together. I like Chad. He's been in the middle of it all. And Travis, he's the one who's helped with the which buttons to push where. So I think you got three good picks up there. Does that fit with the team? Can, can, can I have one thing? Okay. We got a lot of things to cover, so I don't know what else you want to do with this one. Next very important question. Do you have a team motto? Do we have a team I like motto? the locomotive. Well, that's what yeah, our shirt says, the locomotive. That's not a motto. Oh, it is. Wow. It is. I need some motto. It'll work. The locomotive. Go! 